The Bayraktar Kizilelma, meaning red apple, in Turkish, is a state-of-the-art UAV packed with cutting-edge technology. This jet-powered drone is designed to take off from ships with short runways, a feature that experts say could revolutionize modern warfare. With a payload capacity of 1.5 tons, it is built for diverse missions, from launching missile strikes to providing air support and neutralizing enemy air defenses. Available in both subsonic and supersonic versions, the Kizilelma boasts an operational range of 926 kilometers and can remain airborne for up to five hours, making it a formidable asset in aerial combat. Let's head back to France to explore the Dassault Rafale, a fourth-generation multi-role fighter with remarkable design features. Often described as an omni-role aircraft, the Rafale is built to excel in every mission type. It comes in several versions, including a nuclear-capable model, a multi-role variant, and an experimental aircraft, each with distinct capabilities. For instance, the carrier-based version boasts 53 suspension points compared to the standard 24. In terms of performance, the Rafale can reach speeds of 2,200 km per hour with an operational radius of 1,800 km. Given its versatility and advanced engineering, it's no surprise that this fighter has appeared in games like Tom Clancy's H.A.W.X and War Thunder. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a multi-role fighter developed by the European Aerospace Consortium Eurofighter GmbH, which includes the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain. Each country has its own customized version of the aircraft, making it highly adaptable. One of its standout features is a frameless monolithic canopy, providing excellent visibility for pilots. It is also equipped with a pirate infrared search and track system, capable of detecting and tracking up to 500 targets on both land and in the air. Unlike some modern fighters, the Eurofighter Typhoon lacks internal weapon bays, a design choice that slightly reduces its radar cross-section but allows for a broader range of weapon configurations. To learn more about this advanced aircraft, check out the British Jets, Empire of the Sky program. The story of the Northrop McDonnell Douglas YF. 23 ended with just two prototypes, the Black Widow 2 and the Grey Ghost. Despite their limited production, these multi-role fighters showcased groundbreaking innovations. Designed to define the fifth generation and replace the F-15, they introduced bold engineering advancements. Remarkably, in the 1990s, one of the airframes already incorporated 25% polymer composites. The aircraft's sharp, chiseled nose featured chine edges that generated vortices, enhancing high angle of attack performance. Today, both prototypes are preserved in museums, allowing aviation enthusiasts to admire them up close. If visiting a museum isn't your style, you can learn more about the Black Widow 2 in the documentary web of secrecy. Black Widow 2 Declassified. The first batch of the Air One is already sold out and pre-registration for the second batch is closed. If you're still interested, your best option is to email the manufacturers and join the waitlist. Developed by the Israeli team AV Limited, this popular flying vehicle boasts impressive features. It is a fully electric aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing VTOL capabilities, along with foldable wings for added convenience. On a full battery charge, it can fly for up to 60 minutes. Quite impressive for an aircraft that cruises at 160 km per hour and seats two passengers. As for the cost, some reviews suggest a substantial price tag, though exact figures may vary. Many experts agree that Russia's Su-57 is the only true fifth-generation fighter jet. It was one of Russia's first aircraft fully designed with digital tools and boasts impressive engineering. For instance, all its edges are angled uniformly, avoiding right angles, and its weapons are stored internally to reduce radar visibility. A quarter of its body is made from carbon fiber, enhancing durability while keeping it lightweight. Its advanced radar system not only detects threats, but also disrupts enemy signals and maps terrain.
Capable of flying for up to 5.8 hours and reaching speeds over 2,600 km per hour, the Su-57 stands as a formidable aircraft, even making an appearance in Top Gun, Maverick. BE Systems is developing the Tempest fighter jet, which is set to be a sixth-generation aircraft expected to debut in 2030. It will replace the Eurofighter Typhoon. The Tempest is notable for its unique triangular wings, which enhance aerodynamics, and for its advanced AI capabilities, allowing it to fly autonomously. Additionally, the Tempest will have the ability to control swarms of drones. With technology from Rolls-Royce, it will also be equipped to deploy laser weapons, making it a highly advanced and versatile fighter for the future. The U.S. Air Force plans to acquire around 200 F-15EX Eagle II fighters, with Boeing claiming they're the best in their class. These jets boast an impressive payload capacity of 13,380 kilograms, along with exceptional range and speed. What truly sets the F-15EX apart is its ability to carry 22 air-to-air -air missiles, making it the most heavily armed fighter in the world. It has even been featured in the Ace Combat game series. Interestingly, the F-15EX isn't an entirely new aircraft. It's a major upgrade of an older model. Engineers took the F-15E Strike Eagle, which first flew in 1986, and transformed it into a modern powerhouse, with many experts believing it has greater strike capability than even the F-35. France is making its mark in the drone race with the Dassault Aviation Neuron, an advanced unmanned combat aerial vehicle. Designed with a sleek flying wing shape for enhanced stealth, this drone is built to strike both ground and naval targets with precision. It reaches speeds of around 980 km per hour and can carry two 250 kg bombs, making it a formidable force in modern warfare. Constructed from carbon fiber, the Neuron features cutting-edge stealth technology and automatic target detection, ensuring high survivability and effectiveness on the battlefield. This drone is poised to be a significant challenge for any enemy force. There is limited information available about the Lockheed Martin State Route 72, a groundbreaking American hypersonic prototype. Seen as the unmanned successor to the State Route 71 Blackbird, this strategic reconnaissance aircraft is expected to take flight within the next decade if all goes according to plan. The State Route 72 is designed with a hybrid propulsion system featuring two types of engines, gas turbines for takeoff and landing, and a ramjet for hypersonic speeds. A key innovation lies in its smart air intake and combustion system which dynamically adjusts at around 4,900 km per hour to optimize performance, making it one of the most advanced aircraft concepts to date. Micron Helicopters is bringing the joy of flying to everyone with their ultra-compact aircraft. The Russian company has designed the Micron 115, a lightweight helicopter weighing under 115 kilograms. It boasts a top speed of 101 kilometers per hour and a range of 100 kilometers. Despite its small size, it is a fully functional aircraft. The best part? Owners won't need a pilot's license, state registration, or an airworthiness certificate to operate it. While the Micron 115 isn't available for purchase yet, interested buyers can join the waitlist. Alternatively, aviation enthusiasts can opt for the Micron 3, another model from the company which comes as a DIY assembly kit. The U.S. company Pivotal offers an intriguing vehicle called the Helix, a mass-produced electric aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. Currently designed as a single-seater, Pivotal is already working on larger models. As an ultralight aircraft, the Helix requires no pilot certification and its simple controls make it easy to operate. Just a few weeks of training with two joysticks is enough. It has a range of 32 kilometers and a cruising speed of 101 kilometers per hour. However, buyers should note its operational temperature range of minus one to 33 degrees Celsius. The Helix's development was backed by Google co-founder Larry Page. 
known for investing in billion-dollar tech innovations. Pricing starts at $190,000, but deliveries are expected in spring 2025. The Columban Krikri is the world's smallest twin-engine manned aircraft. Designed in the 1970s by French aerospace engineer Michel Columban, the prototype was first built in 1972 and successfully took flight in 1973. Since then, the aircraft has undergone multiple modifications, improving its performance while maintaining its compact design. The model shown here is powered by two 15-horsepower engines, allowing it to reach a cruising speed of 190 km per hour. Despite its impressive capabilities, the Krikri remains incredibly lightweight, weighing just 72 kilograms when empty. This charming and innovative aircraft continues to capture the interest of aviation enthusiasts worldwide. In the early 1970s, a unique aircraft kit called the BD-5 entered the U.S. market, often referred to as Lego for adults. While kids play with toy sets, aviation enthusiasts could assemble a full-size airplane. Despite challenges, including an extensive 3,500-hour assembly time, over 5,000 units were sold. One of the most surprising moments in its history came when the BD 5J variant was featured in the James Bond film Octopussy. Agent 007 needed a compact jet, and this modification, equipped with a suitable engine, was the perfect choice. Impressively, the BD 5J held the record as the world's smallest jet aircraft for 25 years. Measuring about 4 meters in length, it could reach speeds of up to 480 kilometers per hour. Additionally, its lightest empty model amazed with a weight of just 162.5 kilograms. The Czech Republic is known for its expertise in compact aircraft, and the SD-1 Minisport is a great example. Initially, this aircraft was available in three options, blueprints for self-construction, an assembly kit, or a fully built, ready-to-fly model. Technically, the SD-1 is a low-wing aircraft with a conventional tail design. It incorporates a combination of wood and carbon fiber components, keeping its maximum takeoff weight at just 240 kilograms. The aircraft cruises at a speed of 160 kilometers per hour and boasts an impressive range of up to 900 kilometers. For those interested in purchasing, pricing details are available upon request through their website. What do you think its cost might be? The Star Bumblebee 2 was built with a singular goal, to secure a place in the Guinness Book of World Records as the smallest aircraft ever to take flight. In 1988, it achieved this feat, reaching an impressive top speed of 305 kilometers per hour. What makes this even more remarkable is that it accomplished such speed with just an 85 horsepower engine and a wingspan of only 1.68 meters. The aircraft's name comes from an old legend suggesting that, based on standard aerodynamics, bumblebees shouldn't be able to fly. Unfortunately, after setting the record, the Bumblebee 2 was severely damaged. However, its predecessor, the Star Bumblebee 1, remains in excellent condition and is currently displayed at the Pima Air and Space Museum in the United States. Ready for takeoff? In 1999, the Japanese company Gen Corporation introduced the Gen H-4, a lightweight coaxial helicopter designed for civilian use and easy home assembly in just 30 to 40 hours. Due to its compact design, it has a maximum lift capacity of 86 kilograms, but can reach an altitude of up to 3 kilometers with a top speed of 88 kilometers per hour. Powering this remarkable aircraft are four 10 horsepower motors, providing both stability and safety. If one motor fails, the remaining three can keep it airborne. This innovative design makes the Gen H for an accessible and practical option for aviation enthusiasts. Next up is the nicest gyroplane from Slovakia, a sleek aircraft promising unlimited adventures. According to its official website, it boasts a range of 500 kilometers and a top speed of 195 kilometers per hour. The nicest comes in three versions, Comfort, Sport, and Platinum. The Platinum model stands out with a powerful 160 horsepower engine, a premium leather and all-contra interior, heating, and other luxury features. 
While the exact price is only available upon request, you'll need at least $166,000 to own one. To showcase its impressive capabilities, the manufacturers even organized a race against a Lamborghini. If you've ever dreamed of owning a personal jet, now might be the perfect time, according to US-based Sonics Aircraft. Specializing in aircraft assembly kits, the company offers the Subsonics kit, which comes with a hefty price tag of around $137,000. However, for that price, you get impressive performance. The aircraft boasts a cruising speed of 386 kilometers per hour and a range of 660 kilometers. Additionally, it is built to handle aerobatic maneuvers, with G-loads ranging from minus three to plus six. For aviation enthusiasts looking for a high-performance personal jet, the Subsonics offers an exciting opportunity.